How does the Poco X5 Pro's cameras compare with a device like the Pixel 6a or Poco X4 GT and the F4? And does Gcam improve photo quality on the X5 Pro? Let's find out in this Poco X5 Pro camera test. I used three different Gcam ports for this test. I just couldn't find one that I really liked at the time of recording, but I did link them in this video's description. First up, some colorful rubber balls, and the stock X5 Pro Cam does a decent job, except for some clipping in the highlights. But I prefer the 6a's more saturated colors. Lazy old dog shot, and I think I like the X5's Gcam the best here. The stock cam is too dark and too blue, which makes this purple wheel look really weird. Boots! And this time we have the X5 Pro, X4 GT, F4, and 6A stock camera images to look at. The F4 wins here since it's the most saturated and has good brightness. The X5 Pro doesn't do a bad job either though. Same devices with Gcam and a huge improvement for the X4 GT. But I think I still like the F4's punchy colors the best. On to the rainbow umbrella images and I can't decide which I prefer, X5 stock or 6A. I'm leaning toward the warmer 6A though. With Gcams, both of the Poco's colors are much cooler and more muted. I threw in the S23 Ultra for this one just because I was curious. I actually prefer the stock X5 Pro Cam. It's not as detailed as the S23 and it doesn't limit those highlights, which seems to be a recurring problem. But the color is vibrant and it's a bit brighter overall. This image is brought to you by Tide. <laughs> just kidding, but there is a difference here. Gcam is producing a more natural, less punchy photo that still maintains detail and the shadows while the stock camera is cranking up the saturation and it makes the orange look wrong here. Similar story with these flowers. Stock is too unnaturally colorful. G cam is too muted. The pixel is just right. Now we actually get to a problem that I saw in a few X5 photos, but this is the best example. Sadly, noise. Greenish noise, in fact. And here it got even worse when I used Gcam. To be fair, something about this shot was quite difficult for these devices, except the pixel. Another comparison with the S23 Ultra, and it holds up pretty well with this bow shot. And surprisingly, the X5 Pro's color matches the S23 more than it does the F4. Here's a wooden post with a rope tied to it. Yeah, I know, I'm terrible with knots. The detail from the 108 megapixel X5 Pro sensor is pretty good. The stock cam was a little too bright, but Gcam nails exposure, just not color. Last photo before we get into selfies and night mode shots, check out how well Gcam is able to brighten the shadows on these bottle lids and the rear of the shelf. If this video has been helpful so far, please give it a like and even subscribe if you super like it. For the first rear camera selfie, I like the X5 Pro stock image. It's very blue, but still not terrible. Gcam certainly places the X5 more in line with the Pixel, but the Gcam port used on the X4 GT delivers the best results by far, at least in terms of exposure and color. Rear camera with portrait mode, and the X5 Pro just cannot control highlights. Until you switch to Gcam, which looks pretty good and very close to the Pixel. With the front facing selfie camera and portrait mode, the Pixel easily beats all of the Poco stock cams. But with Gcam, I think the X5 Pro wins, even though the edge detection and portrait mode isn't perfect. An indoor selfie cam with portrait mode, and you can see that Gcam really helps the X5 here, even with edge detection. Comparing a rear camera shot with the S23 Ultra, and I think I like the X5 Pro's Gcam version the best here. The lighting is much more even on my face. The selfie cameras with portrait mode are all disappointing in my opinion. On to night mode, and performance is pitiful on this car scene. The stock X5 Pro camera just does not perform well. Thank goodness for Gcam, which is a lot more helpful at night. For this vase shot, or vase shot, the stock cams perform better, so the improvement from Gcam is largely a difference in noise reduction, except for the X4 GT, which apparently veered straight into a pile of pink. Under a street light, all of the cameras deliver a usable fire hydrant image, and Gcam doesn't change much. The Pixel wins, but I believe the X5 Pro is in second place. The rainbow umbrella at night this time, and the F4's OIS really does help it get some better night shots, but with Gcam, it loses to the X5 Pro. The Pixel still manages to win with better sharpness and detail overall though. In terms of rear camera video, at 4K 30fps, the X5 Pro looks good enough, pretty stable, with decent color and exposure, but it does lose to the F4 and Pixel. Selfie camera video is also not bad, just way too bright. So here is the Poco X5 Pro with the selfie camera. So here's the Pixel 6a with the selfie camera. My favorite for selfie video is actually the X4 GT stock camera. So here is the Poco X5 Pro with the selfie camera. All right, here's the Poco X4 GT with the selfie camera. Here's the Poco F4 with the selfie camera. So here's the Pixel 6a with the selfie camera. Overall, I'm happy with the X5 Pro's cameras, especially when you use Gcam in some shooting conditions. For the price, you could get a Pixel 6a, but you give up a brighter 120 hz screen, battery life, and charging speed. Now, if you're looking to buy, please check Wireless Place first. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this comparison in the comments. I can't answer the questions if you don't ask them yet.